Hey second graders, welcome to math class again. This is your second and last math video of the week. We are going to be talking about bigger and smaller fractions. Hi sweetie. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Goldie loves fractions, so she needs to be here for this. Um, if you want to see an example in your book, especially, I'm pulling right from it, so if you want to do this work with me, it is page 281, question 3. So 281, question 3. Now this concept or idea of figuring out which fraction is bigger um, is going to help you a lot as you go into third grade because you'll do a lot of work with fractions in third grade and fourth grade and you need to understand which fraction would be more would be would be more or which fraction would be less than um, which fractions are equal um, so what they're having you do is they've got pictures of circles okay um, that are separated into fractions or equal parts of the whole circle, right? The fraction is an equal part of a whole. Um, and then they've got a little box between them and you have to decide which of these fractions is greater than or less than or equal, okay? So you're looking at this one, is this circle or is this fraction, is this fraction greater than this fraction or is it less than this fraction or is it equal to that fraction okay is she in a video too no okay so let me start with if you want to play with this idea and work with it I've made some plates just out of regular paper plates you can make your own fraction circles and you can even cut them up and work with different fractions you can color them um, to better help you see which fractions might be more than another fraction or which fraction would be less than another fraction. So here's just an idea for you to do at home, um, just making paper plate fraction circles um, to work with. I know I like to use my hands a lot and I don't like to just work with paper. And so if you wanna make those, I think that's a really good idea. So which fraction is bigger or greater than? So let's go ahead and look at this circle and this circle. Now this is right out of your book. So like I said, if you wanna follow along, it's page 281, question three. So they're asking, is one half of this circle, is it bigger than or less than, is it greater than or less than one third of this circle? Now we remember that in a fraction, okay, we have our top number and our bottom number. Now who remembers what the top number is called? The numerator. I'm going to say numerator. Good. The bottom number, does anybody know what that one's called? You have to make your scary face for it, right? Okay. The denominator, right? The bottom number is the denominator. The denominator tells us how many parts there are. So we already have, we already know there's a whole because a fraction is an equal part of a whole, okay, a part of a whole. And this bottom number tells us how many pieces there are. And the top number, the numerator, tells us how many of those pieces we have, or how many are ours, or how many are colored, or whatever. So what I'm gonna do with my brown marker is I am going to color in, okay, one half of this circle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shade in one out of the two parts. Right here it says one third. So I'm only going to shade in one third of this circle. Now, can you tell me just by looking at the picture, is this greater than this or is it less than this? It's greater than, right? it's greater than this one. So I'm gonna use my greater than sign and I'm gonna put it right in this box. One half is greater than one third. Now that seems kind of silly, doesn't it? Because we think, well that three, Mrs. Carlin, is bigger than the two. That's right, you're right. That three is a larger number than the two. But what we're looking at, boys and girls, is we're looking at both of the numbers, but just because the bottom number is bigger does not necessarily mean that the fraction is going to be bigger. Let me use my paper plates to show you. 
May I do that? All right, so this paper plate is broken up into eight pieces. Eight's a pretty big number, right? I'm gonna shade in one of those pieces. Okay, so this fraction would be one eighth. So this is one eighth of this chocolate pie. Okay, one eighth of the chocolate pie. Now that eight is a pretty big number, isn't it? But then I have this pie that I made and I have broken it up into three pieces. Now three is smaller than eight, right? But let me shade in one third of the pizza, just one piece. Now, if you really like chocolate pie, which piece are you gonna want? You're gonna want this one, right? Because this is greater than this one. Even though this fraction is one third and this one is one eighth, okay? And eight is a bigger number than three, this is a greater piece. This fraction is a greater fraction. Does that kind of make sense? Let's do one more example together. So we have this circle that's broken up into four pieces and it wants us to color in two of them. So let's go ahead and do that. There's one and two. And this piece is broken up into three pieces and it wants us to color in two of them. Now, look at that. Go ahead and move, baby, so they can see. We want our friends to be able to see. Thank you. Um, which of the circles is greater? Or which one of the fractions in the circles is greater? This one, right? Two thirds. I would much rather have two thirds of this chocolate pie than just half of it because I've got more going over this way. So this one is greater. Am I gonna use this sign? No, because if this side is greater, then it has to be the open mouth going that way. So our complete equation says two fourths is less than two thirds. Okay, all right, those are our examples for today. If you've got more questions, ask mom and dad or ask them to ask me and I will be happy to help you. Happy fractions.